this moment, at this time, we're going to rededicate this bandstand. The, quite a while ago, the bandstand was dedicated to a gentleman who was instrumental in keeping the band going for a number of years. Under the, um, he was part of the band under the baton of John Pandolfi. Um, he was one of the elder statesmen of the group. Um, his name was Robert Broomhead. I started playing, I, I took over the directorship of the band in 1985, but I started playing when I was in high school in 1974, and Bob Broomhead was alive and playing then. He actually would sit in the back row where my son is there, <laughs> and he played trombone, and he played the bassoon parts on trombone. I remember him doing that. Um, another thing, I think that he was also the band librarian, and what he would do, he would be the one to pick out the program every week, he put the music together and into a folder for Mr. Pandolfi, and set it on a stand so that when it was time to start the concert, Mr. Pandolfi would come up and just start. Bob Bloomhead took, a, took um, care of all of that. He was the one who kept the band running. He was like one of those people behind the scenes and a, a wonderful gentleman. And we have um, some friends and relatives here to speak to his memory. Hi everybody, I'm not a relative, I'm actually, my name's Jay McGrail, I'm the town administrator. I was asked to come tonight to say a few words on behalf of the town. So I just want to say that on behalf of myself and the selectmen, we extend our gratitude to the Sipigan Historical Society for the restoration and improvements of the Robert O. Broomhead Bandstand that we see here this evening. The bandstand was built for the specific purpose of providing the Marion Concert Band a place to perform. And our residents and visitors have been so fortunate to have the talented concert band behind me perform here during the summer months for a lot, lot of years. Attending these summer concerts is one of the many traditions that make this town, Marion, such a great, fantastic place to live. The bandstand and the concert band are historical landmarks. With this rededication this evening, we anticipate performances for another 100 years to come. With that, I'm going to turn it over to one of his relatives. Hello, um, this is actually the relative, but she's not much for public speaking yet. Uh, this is his great-great-granddaughter, and I have a letter here that is from his youngest daughter, um, so I'm kind of an interdimensional, intergenerational proxy. But she uh, says, since she could not attend, she would like me to say that it is with the greatest appreciation and honor that I will thank the Marion Historical Society for the restoring and rededicating of the Robert O. Broomhead Bandstand. I, his daughter, along with my husband, children, and grandchildren, and great-grandchildren, uh, remember with great pleasure the band's concerts. After each piece, the clapping of hands, the honking of car horns, and the tooting of bow whistles. And then, when the concert was over, a walk to Peterson's for an ice cream cone. Uh, she remembered Marion, the bandstand, and all of that as wonderful memories and thanks you all so much for helping to continue these traditions for the next generation in Marion. That's Barbara Broomhead Bromley, third daughter of Robert O. Broomhead. And Ellery Bach, thanks you to you.